Hi, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. On April 11, the Angara A5 launch vehicle successfully launched from the Vostochny Cosmodrome and put the Orion upper stage into the Earth's orbit. The launch of a heavy class launch vehicle took place on the third attempt. Before that, the launch was cancelled twice by automation. Angara A5 is a three-stage heavy class launch vehicle with a height of 55 meters and a diameter of 8.9 meters. The RD191 liquid rocket engine is used in its first and second stages, and the RD0124A liquid rocket engine is used in the third stage. The rocket can carry up to 24.5 tons of payload to low Earth orbit and up to 4.5 tons to Sun Synchronous orbit. The Angara A5 is designed to replace the Proton Heavy Launch Vehicle, which has been in operation since 1965, and unlike which the Angara A5 launch vehicle runs on environmentally friendly fuel. It is expected that Angara A5 will become a more efficient launch vehicle, and in the configuration A5B it will be able to launch more than 30 tons of payload to low Earth orbit. And also the launch was not the first for Angara A5. It was the first time this vehicle launched from the Vostochny Cosmodrome, and the construction of the infrastructure for this rocket on the Vostochny Cosmodrome began in 2019 and includes a cable refueling tower with a height of 54 meters. The tower is equipped with elevators and ladders for lifting maintenance personnel to work sites, emergency evacuation facilities for personnel, warm noise insulated rooms for installing equipment and special boxes for laying pipelines and cables. This tower can be used for the entire family of Angara rockets from light to heavy vehicles, which eliminates the need to have several different launch paths. In addition, it is modular, and in the future it will be possible to add a module for servicing main launches. The launch of the Angara A5 rocket was carried out normally. Approximately 12 and a half minutes after launch, the Orion upper stage separated from the third stage of the rocket and entered the reference orbit. A successful launch means Russia regains the ability to launch heavy geostationary satellites from its territory which has not been possible for 33 years. In the future, with the help of Angara rockets, it's planned to launch satellites, modules of Russian orbital station, as well as a new generation manned transport ship that will deliver crews to the station. This was Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.